All right, everybody, welcome uh, to class. It is Sunday night here in Costa Rica, and we are going to be practicing our reading this hour. Uh, I have a, a short story that uh, is called, uh-oh, doesn't look like it, uh, doesn't look like it's saved with the class. So give me one second, class. I need to uh, go back and grab it. Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, give me give me one second. I thought my uh, I thought it had saved with me. So give me give me just two shakes, and I'll go grab it. How you doing, Andrew? I'm fine. Hello, Chad. Hi, man. How you can doing? You me? Yep, I can hear you. But there is some noise. Hello. Is there some noise? Is there some noise? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Cool. So how, how's everything going, man? Everything is okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I'm just I'm going back right now, and I'm I need to grab that uh, short story. Um, I thought I had saved it to to the class, and apparently when I saved it, it did not save along with everything else. So here we go. That's not too big of a problem, though. I'll just go ahead and grab it and throw it in. Awesome. So anything interesting happening? Nothing interesting. Just the same, yeah. Just, just the same? same? All right, man. Well, uh, good, uh, good to see you again. Welcome back to class. Yeah, nice uh, to see you, too, yeah. <laughs> let's see who else we have so far. We have Juan. Hi, Juan. How are you? Juan, can you hear me okay? Okay, uh, let's see. Let's check on our next person out. And uh, is your name Lisette? Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi. I'm doing great. How about yourself? Uh, super nice. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, Lisette, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. From Colombia. Excellent. And, and what do you do there in Colombia? Uh, excuse me? What what do you do? Are are you a student or do you work full time? Oh, okay. I'm um, physical therapist. Ah, very cool. I had to I had to use a physical therapist uh, once because I had uh, dislocated my shoulder, and then I had surgery on it, and uh, and so I had to go to the physical therapist to get movement back in my shoulder. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was very helpful. Now, how long have you been working as a physical therapist, Lisette? No, teacher, I am waiting for the graduation. It is in April too. Oh, okay, excellent. Well, congratulations to you. I hope I hope everything goes well. Thanks. Hi there. Awesome. Hi, do you copy? All right, let's go to uh, now. Your name is Jam Bing. Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Good to meet you as well. And Yambing, where are you from? I'm from China. From China, excellent. Yeah. And and what do you do? Are you a student or are you uh, working full time? I'm now still a student. Great. And what are you studying? Um, I right now I'm studying English education. Oh, excellent. That'll that'll be great. Okay, good. Thank well, you. welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Nice to meet you, too. All right, and we also have uh, Martin. How are you? Hello, how are you? I'm doing quite well, thank you for asking. And uh, Martin, where are you from? I'm from Mexico, from Guadalajara. From Guadalajara, excellent. And, and what do you do, Martin? I'm civil engineer. Oh, cool. And uh, how long have you been working as a sim civil engineer for? A long time, like uh, 15 or something more. About yeah. 15 years or so. Okay. Awesome, man. Well, it's good to have you here. Good yeah, to have you. you. All right. And we also have Jordy. Jordy, how are you, man? Uh, hello. Hi, Jordy. How are how you doing, man? Good. Uh, how are you doing? I am learning English. Excellent, excellent. Well, I, I am teaching English, so you're in the right spot. Okay. All right. Now, Jordi, where are you from? I'm from Ecuador. From Ecuador. Great, 
And uh, what uh, what part of Ecuador? Eh, eh, Lo Loja. Loja. Okay. Very good. And what do you do? Are you a, a student or uh, do you work full time? I am a student. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, um, what are you studying? Uh, chemistry. Uh, so chemicals. So being a uh, um, working with uh, uh, in, in chemistry. Excellent. Okay. Very yeah. good. Well, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Okay. All right, man. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Heba. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Now, is it Heba or is it Heba? Heba. Heba. Okay. Excellent. And uh, Heba, I'm I I'm pretty sure I could be wrong though. I'm pretty sure I've had you in my class before. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. And probably about <laughs> one time though, right? Have I had you uh, only one time, Heba? Heba, can you hear me okay? Okay. She's All right. Okay. Yeah, she did, unfortunately. All right. And let's see. We also have Bruno. How you doing, Bruno? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. And uh, Bruno, uh, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. From Brazil. Excellent. Yeah. And what, uh, what part of Brazil are you from? South. The South, awesome. Yeah. And uh, what do you do? I'm working full time right now as software developer. Excellent. And uh, do you work for a uh, com? Do you work for yourself or do you work for a company? For a company right now. All right. And is the company uh, based out of uh, Brazil or is it based out of another country? Yeah, it's based here in my city. Okay. Awesome, man. Very okay. cool. It's good to have you here. Thanks. All right. <laughs> And let's see, I already talked with Andrew a little bit. All right, and we also have, now is this Anastasia or is this Oksana? No, it's Anastasia. So you know how you will define if me or it's my mom. If okay. uh, I chat a lot, you know, in the chat box, it's me. <laughs> then it's you, <laughs> my okay. Mom, yeah, my mom don't type anything, you know. She's not so fast at typing. She's just listening. And I'm here, yeah. Awesome. So how's, how's everything going? Yeah, everything is just fine. Like uh, today is the morning of Monday, so I'm in the future. Uh -huh. Yes, <laughs> so, you yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> no, after that, I'm just going to um, to go to play tennis. A training, um, train for my uh, tennis training as usual on Monday. Excellent. Yeah. So, how about you? Um, well, I've got uh, three hours tonight, and then mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna try and uh, try and go to sleep early. But uh, in all honesty, I probably won't be able to sleep. Uh, there's another TV show that I watch that comes out on Sunday nights uh, uh -huh. called The Walking Dead. And so, Ooh. yeah, this show, <laughs> it, it uh, comes out, uh, one of the episodes comes out tonight. And so uh -huh. I usually check and see if it's available after about midnight. And I'll uh -huh. probably end up watching it <laughs> instead okay. of going to bed like I should. So, yeah, that TV show is, it's great. It's called The Walking Walking Dead. dead. Okay. Walking uh, dead. It, what is about? Zombies. It's about zombies. It, it, it about sounds zombies. creepy. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I will try to find to watch what is it. Is it maybe cool or not? Yeah, it's it's really cool. It just depends on how much blood you like to see. Um, yeah, <laughs> it, it's just fun. It's it, after the, after the falling, it's fine. You know, it doesn't yeah. spring in. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, cool. Welcome back to class. It's good to have you Thank here. Thank you. On mm -hmm. All right, and let's see. Do we have anybody else sneak back in? Oh, hey, buddy, you're back. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Excellent. Now, um, you said that you were in my class before. Now, was it only about one time? Or have you been in my class more than that? Yes. yes. All right. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell because you don't have a, a figure there. It's just the blue man. Um, so anyway, all right. So, Heba, uh, uh, tell me one more time. Where, where are you from? I'm from Egypt. From Egypt. Okay. And what do you do? Uh, I'm graduated from uh, Faculty of Arts, OG Department. Okay, so uh, agriculture. Yeah, and uh, no anthropology. Oh, anthropology. anthropology. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and now uh, I'm studying fashion design. Oh, 
Interesting. That's a that's a different change going from anthropology <laughs> to fashion design. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very cool. All right. Well, welcome welcome back. It's good to have you here. Uh, Thank let's you. see. And Martin and uh, now is your name Moni? Yes. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. Excellent. And uh, Moni, I don't believe I've had the pleasure of having you in my class before. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Egypt. From Egypt as well. Excellent. And Moni, what do you do? I'm a student in the Faculty of uh, Engineering, uh, Department of uh, Communication. Okay. Awesome. And uh, so you said that you're a student, uh, but you said that you're also in the faculty. Now, the faculty works uh, at, at the university. Do you, uh, do you work at the university or are you a student? No, no, I don't work, but um, I'm just a study. Okay, awesome. Very good. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to class. And, and uh, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Is it Moni or is it uh, uh, Mooney? How, how would I pronounce okay. your name? Okay, Moni, Moni. Moni, Moni. Yes. Okay. All right, excellent. All right, you guys. Well, uh, welcome to class. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is uh, Teacher Chad, or you can call me Chad. Okay, makes no difference to me. Um, and uh, I am from the United States, but I live in Costa Rica. Um, I've been living here in Costa Rica now for about about eight months. I'll probably lose track here in the next uh, next month or so and I'll just say a year or I've been living here for a while. Um, I, uh, I, uh, I really enjoy it here. Um, I've also uh, lived in uh, a few other countries, uh, Argentina, Costa, or sorry, Argentina, Honduras, um, and Guatemala, and El Salvador. Okay, I've been through those countries. And let's see, yeah, so I speak uh, Spanish, that's my second language, and then uh, English, obviously. And uh, I love music, I uh, love uh, exercise, and uh, I, I love watching TV. I really do. <laughs> so uh, that's a little bit about myself. This hour we are going to be practicing uh, our reading, okay? Um, and I put, in, I put in the chat box the link uh, where we are going to be reading. Uh, I don't know why it didn't save here on, uh, on Verbling. Um, I thought that it had, but... Uh, uh, which country do do I like most of the ones that I've uh, I've been in? Ah, it's toss up, you know. Um, uh, here in Central America, uh, definitely Costa Rica. Um, I like Costa Rica mainly. It's a lot cleaner um, and it's safer as well. That's one of the reasons why we moved away from Honduras uh, because it uh, it was uh, very dangerous. Um, but uh, Argentina. Argentina is uh, Argentina. Argentina is a, uh, a it is my first love. I uh, that's where I learned Spanish. I lived in Buenos Aires, and uh, I love food, love the people, love the the architecture, um, the weather. Just so many, so many different things about that city that uh, is awesome. So it's it's hard to, it's hard to say. It's a toss up. Um, anyway, uh, so let's. Uh, uh, the great question, though, Pablo. Really good question. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get on and get on with class. I'm going to put the uh, the link uh, once again in the chat box. I'll also put it in uh, the Google chat. So if you're hanging out in there, you can grab it as well. All right. So when you open it up, this is what it's going to look like. It's all pretty with some stars and stuff there. Yes, these, this story we're going to be reading about is called Hell or High Water. All right? And <clears throat> main goal here is to practice our pronunciation. If there are words that you do not understand and you would like a, uh, a brief definition or use or why we use that word or an explanation of why we use the word, uh, you can always ask me. Uh, but we are going to be... Uh, working on our pronunciations as we read through these words, okay? So be prepared to be corrected. Uh, it's nothing personal, uh, but uh, I hope, uh, I hope uh, you are, uh, uh, are uh, um, ready to be corrected, okay? Okay, you guys, so uh, let's jump into this. Let's start off with Anastasia over on the left-hand side, and I'm going to go oh, from yeah. left to right uh, this hour. So that mm -hmm. means Anastasia, Andrew, uh, Bruno, so on and so forth until I get all the way over to Yan Bing. 
Okay, and then it's back okay. over on Anastasia. Okay, so okay. please please read. Uh, let me have you read that first line uh, through that first paragraph into that second line. So, uh, okay, two sentences and a paragraph. Go for it. Okay, uh, they they still uh, talk about the storms, the bleak landscapes. All right, stop behind. one second. One second. Stop. Start start over again. Focus on your th sounds. Okay. They they turns to uh -huh. they. Okay. Uh huh. They there you still go. Uh, they still talk about the storms, the bleak landscapes stretching behind had nothing on the thrundle clouds looming ahead and in the another few minutes darkness would call it. Ari uh, recalled a vague saying about understopped forces and unmovable objects. In his experience there was no such as thing. Everything moved eventually and everything uh, could be shaken, torn off and ripped to sh shreds. As for unstoppable forces, uh, well, uh, they stopped too eventually, and when they uh, did, they left nothing unmoved. He shook, uh, he shook his he head, wondering that an un observant idiot would come up with something too silly. Eddie asked uh, if to prove a silent point had no moved. Another one. Uh, yeah, just that next sentence. Uh huh. In a few minutes, it would be no matter. In a few minutes, the storm would start, and in a few months, winter. Awesome. Okay, so just mm -hmm. me mentioning those ths totally uh -huh. changed because when you first started, you said ze and uh -huh. za, and then back uh -huh. to za bleak, and I was like, okay, all right, let's maybe you started off on the wrong foot. Ed, once I mentioned it, your th sounds were great. Okay, Thank excellent you. job. Mm -hmm. um, your ED sounds as well, okay, mm -hmm. like stopped, all right, uh -huh. and unmoved. Okay, mm -hmm. very good job. Now, uh, I want to practice three words with you that you probably may not have seen before, okay? Uh -huh. um, now, first off, this word here is thunderclouds. Thunderclouds. Yeah, one more time, thunderclouds. Thunderclouds. Good, all right, now this word here is collide. Collide. Excellent. Yeah, with that k sound at the beginning, mm -hmm. collide. Collide. All right. Now, this mm -hmm. word here is unstoppable. 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 Good. Yeah, so that accent is going to go right on that O. One more time. Unstoppable. Uh -huh. Unstoppable. Good, good. Nice job. And then I want to practice this phrase right here. You added in the word be. Um, it, uh, I think, in between would and not or something like that. Anyway, so we're going to uh -huh. read this one more time. We're going to say... In a few minutes, it would not matter. Try that. Uh -huh. In a few minutes, it would not matter. Okay, one more time. Give me a good uh, double T sound. We're going to change that to a D. Mad. Matter. Uh, okay, gotcha. In a few uh, minutes, it would not matter. Good. Nice job, Anastasia. Uh -huh, Wonderful. Thanks. All right, let's go to Andrew. You're up, brother. Let me have you do... Uh-oh, got lost. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to have you read this first paragraph through that sentence into uh, this dialogue right there. Go ahead and read that, please. Okay. The moles were doing a good job, or so they said. The tunnels were needing completion, and the caves would offer a luxury undreamed of on the surface, or so they said. Few dreamed anymore, neural synapses would fire at night same as usual, but you cannot dream if you don't have a past. You can't dream if you can't bring the future to life. When tomorrow is another whirlwind and the future an endless field of ice. Such are not dreams but fantasies in the void and in the void there is terror. Only the fish truly dreamed. Neptune have mercy on their souls. We've been tried by war and tried by ice. We've been carved by its charts and molded by its flowers. As Neptune's tribulation, I can pronounce this word. As uh, uh, tribulations. Tribulations pass, the power of haze grows. Okay, Today. good. Good, just tell right there. Awesome, nice job. 
Okay, good job with your ED endings. Okay, also your your R sounds are sounding really good. Okay, now I want to practice your V. Okay, this word may be a, may be difficult because your V when you said carved. Okay, Andrew, when you said that word, your V sounded wonderful. Okay, it was carved. really good. Yeah, carved. All right, so let's practice it with the word void. Try that. Void. Void, void and and in the void. Okay, so right there I'm hearing a little bit more of a B sound saying void. Okay, remember you want to put your teeth up on top of your, so these things right here up on top of that bottom lip. We want to, we want to make a void sound. Void. void. Try that. Void. Void. Right. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so let's throw it back into the sentence. And we're going to say, where are we at? We're going to say, but, and so we're going to go from but all the way to the end of that sentence. But fantasies in the void, and in the void there is terror. But fantasies in the void, and the void there is terror. Okay, one more time. Give me a good v void. Okay, one more time. But, but fantasies in the void, and the void there is terror. Good, good. I could hear that much better. Okay, nice job. Um, I do want to practice. Okay, yeah. So remember, this word is tribulations. Try that. Tribulations. Tribulations. Good. Okay, last word. Now, this word here is completion. Okay. Um, we are going to use a long E sound. So instead of saying completion, okay, complete, completion. Try that. Completion. Completion. All right, now, this word um, may have a couple of different uh, uh, pronunciations. Uh, some people might say synopses, okay, or synapses. All right, uh, uh, let me see how I would pronounce this. Uh, if you dreamed anymore, uh, neurosynopsis, neuro neurosynapses. Yeah, I believe I'd say it like that, synapses with an a sound, okay, but this isn't a word that you're going to see all the time unless you're going to be a neural surgeon, um, things like that. So yeah, you uh, you read it just fine, okay? So synapses um, or synopses, okay? Whatever, okay? Just so just just for uh, reference. Other than that, great job, Andrew. Nice job, man. Thank you. Okay, let's go to uh, Bruno. You are up, and I did it again. I hate it when I do that. <laughs> I, I take off the, the screen share. I, t I select the wrong one. Okay, Bruno, let me have you read where it says knowing, okay, all the okay. way down to where it says the lights of hell. So those next two paragraphs. Okay. Uh, knowing that the time of Neptune, that the age of Aquarius would come to pass, revealing Hades in all of his glory, ushering in the return of the cave to the cave, to the comfort before humanity wandered into the light and was blinded to reason by the sun, was little comfort for the disdainful looks of the moles from across the Aisley. Their time was close and they knew it. One day, soon now, hell will freeze over and it will be their turn to rule in Hades' glory. Still, these scriptures could not mute the snickering and even the vision of hell, stretching endlessly outside the church window could not quiet their heckling. The priest was formal, and the blank book of scriptures, its pages untainted, and its message clear and unequivocal, millions of years passed, a man shaped, shaped demon named Plato, son of Sion of Hell. The wretched Socrates had led to for an age of reason, dragging men from the comfort of the cave and into the blinding lights of hell. Okay, good job, good. All right, so I want to I want to practice a few things here with you. Okay, uh, sure. now this this name uh, uh, it's uh, I think it's either Latin or Roman. I can't even remember, but the way it's pronounced is Socrates. Socrates. Okay. Okay, so it would be uh, like Plato. So the thinkers of uh, of Rome. Okay, Socrates, Plato. Okay. Yeah, I know so, who that is. Yeah, so that's uh, that's how we would pronounce that name. Okay. Now, um, okay. Uh, let's practice your ed endings. Okay. Here you said shaped and shaped. named. Okay. okay. If uh, if a word ends with a p sound, okay, this ed ending right there is going to make a t sound. So instead of saying shaped, we would say shaped. Shaped. Okay. 
okay? And here, if it ends with an M sound, M, M is in mama, we, instead of saying named, we would say named with a D sound at the end. Okay. Try that. Named. Uh, named. Good. Okay. Now, this is one of the words that uh, defy those rules because usually if we have a word that ends with a ch sound, okay, or a ch, okay, okay like match, it would be matched. It would end with a t sound. But this word, we do not say wretched. Okay, we say wretched. 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 So this is one of one of the words that are that that's against those rules. I just I just wanted to point that out, point that out to the class. Okay. 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 Now just to uh, um, to to uh, reveal the third rule in ed endings. If it ends with a t or a d sound, we do pronounce that id. Okay. So when you pronounce this word untainted, that is absolutely correct. Okay. okay? All right, now this is a word that you have probably never seen before. The word is unequivocal. Please repeat yeah. that. Yeah, unequivocal. Okay, so we're going to say unequi unequivocal. Unequivocal. Good. All right, now um, uh, I want to. This may have been a perfect, uh, a perfect couple paragraphs for you because we had a lot of L endings. Okay, we had hell. Okay, we also had still and uh, will. Okay, we had these a lot throughout here. Now, yeah. um, uh, uh, I know from uh, in teaching other other people who speak Portuguese, sometimes that L can be a little bit difficult. Yeah, okay? sometimes it is. In, yeah, sometimes. Now, sometimes when you said the word hell, it sounded perfect. Okay, you you curved your tongue and you were touching the top. But sometimes with, for example, the word will. Now it's difficult because um, you want to say will. Okay, yeah. and it's easier to say that. So let's practice that word. Okay, remember when we when we pronounce that L, you're going to curve your tongue. And this is the top of your mouth. You're going to curve your tongue, and it's going to touch the top. Okay, and let's okay. say these are your teeth. Your tongue is going to touch right before the teeth. Okay, so watch. I say will, will. Try that. Will. Good. Will. Good. Now let's try it with the word still. Still. Good. All right. So let's throw it back in the sentence, and we are going to say, uh, "I want one with will and still in it." Can I do that? Nope, I can't. All right. So we're going to practice this uh, this sentence right here. Okay. One day uh, soon now, hell okay. will freeze over, and it will be their turn to rule in Hades glory. Go for it. Okay. One day soon now, hell will freeze over, and it will be. Their turn to rule in Hades glory. Hades glory. Good, awesome. Much better with that L sound. Okay, nice job. Yeah, usually the hell word is easier to uh, push the L, but the will word is harder because we Portuguese usually uh, say will for a name or something like that. Yeah, exactly. And it, and it starts off with that sound you already want to end with. You want to yeah. end that L with an ooh sound. And so yeah. you're like, well, I'm starting it that way. Why can't I just end it that way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that. But yeah, no, you're doing fine though, man. You're doing really well. Nice job. Thanks. Okay. All right, let's go to uh, Keba. Let me have you read the next couple paragraphs. And it starts off upon the surface. And I'm going to have you end where it says win. Okay, go ahead and read those two. Okay. Upon the surface, man had first experience the same of Mars, new wars, Ripley, the kid, the world under the ear of the red cloud, Bayon had a shy as hill, shaped itself at man's leisure over tens of thousands of years then came the time of Hermes and for a time man flourished striking a balance between its expressions and hell in the time of I can I can pronounce this okay word. this is narcissus narcissus man had forgotten his humble beginning and the comfort of the curve and sought his own reflection in the light, his mirror image, in hell, 
the time of Neptune had cleansed the world and Hades would lead us back to the cave. Okay, and the next paragraph, please. Ari shook himself awake, awake, and for a few seconds the world merged with the dream before washing it away, those early moments growing longer by the day. Trident to rib his senti apart and the dreams grow more vivid with each passing night the fragile balance grew more delicate. One day he know, like all the other fish before him, reality would merge, would merge with the dream, and the dream would win. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, excellent job with words starting off with an R sound. Okay, like rip and apart, okay, being in the middle, as well as early, okay, your R sounds were sounding really, really good. Also, your V sounds, like in the word vivid, okay? Now, there's a, there's a, a couple things I do want to practice, okay? Um, first off, just as a reminder, this word here is cave. It will have a long A sound, okay? Please repeat that, Heba. Cave. Cave. There cave. you go. Excellent. Cave. All right. Yeah. Now, I do want to practice as well the DR sound, okay? So we're going to split this up. We're going to say dr, dream. Try that. Dr, dream. Dream. Good. Yeah. Good. Much better. Okay? <clears throat> Let's practice this word here. The word, the word is were, world, world. World. Good. That sounded really nice. Okay. Now, I want to move on to some ED endings, okay? Um, because some of them you you uh, pronounced absolutely perfectly right, and it was 100% awesome, okay? Some of them you were off by just a little bit, and so I want to practice that with you, okay? <clears throat> okay. Uh, our, our first one is going to be experienced. Yeah. With experience. a T sound. Yeah. Experienced. Okay, try that one more time. It broke up just a little bit. Experienced. Experienced. Good, okay. Let's practice that as well with perished. Perished. Good, good. Nice job. Now, this word here is cleansed. Okay, now with this S, that is a Z sound. Okay, so instead of having a T sound, Okay, um, like experienced because that's ending as an S sound. All right, that's why it sounds like a T. Here, this this S is acting like a Z sound, so we're going to have a D ending. So the word is cleansed. Cleansed. Good. One more time. Cleansed. Cleansed. Excellent. Okay, much better. All right, and this is a a, a new word maybe for you. The word is fragile. Fragile. Okay, one more time. Fragile. Fragile. All right, excellent. Okay, excellent improvement on that DR sound. All right, and then keep working on your ED endings. Okay, everything else sounded really good. Okay. Nice job, Heba. Thank you. All right, uh, who is my next reader? I've got Jordy. Jordy, you ready to do this? Okay. All right, okay, so Jordy, I'm going to have you read from where it says uh, Jonah had grown. Okay, down to where it says souls. Go ahead and read those two paragraphs, please. Sure. Uh, Jonah had wrong accused him to do look in his son's eye, and the light that grew slowly alerting him to his son's return, just as he had wrong accused him to that same look in his father's eyes. When he was too young to understand himself long before Ari grew accusing too, Rec recognized and finally understood that same look in his own. All the fish dream fish dreams. Ari, stepping into life from the dream was a match, a loss, a victory. There was comfort in dream, perhaps. The comfort of the cave, perhaps, 
fish were chosen after all, chose, chosen to rule the age of Aquarius and had for 500 years. Who else would dream of the cup and know it in their souls? All right, nice job. Really good job with your R sounds. Jordy, nice job, man. Um, let's uh, let's practice uh, as well as accustomed. Okay, your ed ending sounded really good. Now remember, this is going to be a short u sound. Okay, and you were pronouncing sort of an in between a long u and a short u, more of an accustomed. Okay. Accustom. Now we want to say accustomed. Accustomed. Yeah, that is that short u sound. Accust. Accustomed. Try that one more time. Accustomed. Good. Nice job. All right. Now, I want to practice the Y sound with you. Okay. Now, here you had said Jung. Okay. Pronouncing a Spanish Y in that word saying Jung. All right. Now, an easy way to avoid this is when you see a word that starts with a Y in English, and this works with each and every Y word, I want you to think of a Spanish E sound. Okay, so I'm going to type this here in the chat box. So instead of thinking of a of a Y sound, you're going to think of an E, and we're going to say E ung. Okay, E ung, and we're going to slide into it. We're going to say E ung. Try that. Young. Good. Yeah. So instead of saying jung, okay, forget about the Y. It's out of here. We don't even want to see that Y anymore. Get get out of here. We want to think of that E sound. Young, okay, and you slide right into it, okay? It works the same way with the word yes, okay? So if you see that word yes, you don't want to say jess. You want to say e s e s e s yes, yes. yes. Try that. Yes. Good. That's that's perfect, okay? As well as one more word. We're going to practice the word you. So instead of saying ju, we're going to say e and an u sound, okay? You, you. Try that. You. Perfect. That's how it does. All right. Now, uh, one more word. The word is cave. Okay, that is a long A sound. Okay, practice that with me. Cave. Cave. Good. Give me a good V sound there. Cave. Cave. All right. Nice job. Okay. Good job, Jordy. Thank you. All right. Let's go to my next reader, and this is. Lisette, are you ready, Lisette? Okay. All right, let's do this. Uh, I want you to read. Where do we stop off? Okay, we stopped off at Souls. Now, uh, do you want uh, a little or do you want a lot to read? A lot. Do you want a lot? Yes. I can, give you, I can give you this much or I can give you this much. How much do you want? Do you want a lot? Yes, a lot. Okay, right there. Let, let me have you read uh, from where it says Ari Sharp. Down to where it says it has passed. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, go ahead and read that, please. Ari chart in K O R I and sudden boy Uri brought light back to his eyes. He looked around, hanging up his throat rounds, making sense or really as he knew it before going to sleep, before he had dreaming. Father, his voice was thin, his grip solid. He told him drained so young, not with such intensity, but he was one of a generation who stood out glory. So ever deeper depths, ever darker crevasses, ever more, more dangerous valleys and canyons and towers, a generation for whom the darkness veined the endless echo of a wallet sun was the medley of the cave and the endearing murmur of haze. You are awake? Good. Your mother left you some food on the table. We must make the calls before the storm and we will have to stay longer than it. What? Ari sends the tension in Jonan's voice. Teacher Mark? Uh, just that one last sentence, okay? Where okay. it says, uh, it's, uh, it's fine, Father. It's fine, Father. He roasted him. 
Once we're, we're under, we can't wait all in the storm. Well, we need once it has spaced. All right, very good. Okay, so um, excellent job with your R sounds as well, Lisette. Okay, words like reassured. Okay, the ending of mother. Okay, good. That that R sound is sounding really good. Okay, um, now I want to. Uh, I want you to. Uh, um, uh, focus a little bit uh, on, and this would be in your own time, okay? Because at the end of words with an E, like intake, all right, as well as sense and voice, you're pronouncing those E sounds. Now, usually, um, Lisette, make a note of this, okay? Write this down. When you have an E at the end of a word, it is silent. We do not pronounce that E. Okay, so let's uh, let's practice those really quick, and then I want to practice one other thing. Okay, so <clears throat> this word instead of being intake, okay, the word is intake. Try that intake. Intake. Good, and you see how that e is going to be silent there. All right. Now let's also practice. Okay, this word instead of being sense, we would say sense. Sense. Good. Okay. One more. One more. This word instead of being vo uh, voice would be voice. Voice. Okay. Now, this is the other thing I wanted to practice. We're going to practice the V sound, and I also want to try out the D sound with you. Okay. Now, the V sound, you're going to put your top teeth, these right here, top teeth on top of your bottom lip. Okay. I'm going to get up close and personal with you, and I need to talk about your mouth a little bit. All right. So, <laughs> teeth on top of the lip. We're going to say v, v. Make that sound, please. V. Okay, one more time. V. V. Good. So it's going to vibrate, okay? We're going to say v voice. V voice. Okay, one more time. V voice. V voice. Good, good. Now give me one second. Jordy, intake, okay, would be you can take in a breath, or that would be an intake in a car, okay, or in a motor. It has an intake where it sucks in air. That is bringing air or something else into something. That is an intake, okay? All right. Good job. Now, remember, Lisette, whenever you see that V, teeth on top of the lip, v, very, cave, have, okay? And when you see those letters, Slow down and practice that, okay? Now, I do want to practice the D sound. So, for example, I'm going to write this in the chat box. We have the word needed. Needed. Try that. Needed. Needed. Good. Now, one thing I want to point out. The Ds in English, okay? English Ds, okay? Feel like Spanish, Spanish R's. Okay, so you hear how I say needed, and it's kind of like saying ede. Okay, you hear how my tongue is hitting. It's hitting the top of my mouth. I say ede and needed. So do you hear how it feels the same? So we're going to try that. Think of a Spanish R. You want, you want to say needed. Needed. Okay, now that last D, your tongue is touching the back of your teeth. You want to pull that tongue back so you can hit the top of your mouth. Okay, one more time, we're going to say needed. Needed. Okay, very close. All right, so remember, E's at the end of words are silent. Okay, that V sound, V. Okay, teeth on top of lip. All right, and the D sound feels like an R. You're going to hit the top of your mouth, okay? Keep practicing those, all right? You're doing good. Thank you very much. All right, let's go to Moni. Yes. All right. How are you? I'm fine. Good. All right. Now, Moni, let me have you read from where it says Jonah did not respond. And let's see. Let me have you read to where it says uh, their vengeance. That's a good, nice paragraph. Go ahead and try that. Mm, I think uh, that uh, I got lost. Uh, I don't know from... Uh, okay. We're about, uh, we're about halfway down. Well, we've read we've read quite a bit through here. Um, can you Which see paragraph? here? Uh, I I don't know. The paragraphs aren't numbered, um, but it's uh, it's where it says Jonah did not respond. Uh, 
Um, sorry, I didn't um, see it. Okay. Um. All right. So, hmm. Can you see it here on the on the uh, on the computer screen, or is it too small? No, the resolution is um, so too small. Okay. Yeah, too and I, I can't make it any any bigger from where it is. If I do, then it uh, it won't fit in my screen. Um. Okay. Uh. I, oh man. I I wish. Yes. Yes. I, I see. Okay. You I see, see where it's at. Screen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, shall I start? Yeah, go ahead and start, please. Jonah did not respond. Instead, he stared out the window to the cliffs and the thunder clouds. The resolution. It is uh, clear. Yes. Okay, let okay. me try one thing here. Okay, keep going if you can. You can read in a chart. I put. Yeah. Uh, I was just about to, I was just about to do to do that. So, um, Moni, if you look in the chat box, Anastasia, it she put in a really long paragraph. Okay, I uh, I saw go ahead and read okay. that. That's exactly okay. what it is. Jonah did not respond. Instead, he started out. He stared out the window to the cliffs and the thunder clouds creeping over the ocean. He turned and stepped through. The doorway. The do the storm is um, harbor harbor harboring harbinger song? harbinger song. and winter is but weeks away. I know, Father. He looked up, but Jonah had left the room. The mold had started work early. A storm could lie weeks of work to waste in a matter of minutes and last four days. There was a time when the fish would have exerted um, imaginable violence had the mold failed in their task and suffered setbacks in the diving undertaking. Those times were no more. And those times would change forever, unless the dream took over the last remaining fish before the moles find their um, vengeance. Good, good, nice job. All right, now your short I sounds like in fish. Okay, that sounded really good. Okay, as well as your R sounds. Okay, now what's really interesting. Uh, is when is when you're reading sometimes your th sounds like in father sound awesome okay yes. but okay. i've noticed when that th is at the beginning of the word like those or they or the okay you pronounce a z sound saying uh, those and z uh, and uh, zay they all right so let me have you read um, let me have you read this last sentence, okay? It starts off, those times were no more. Those times were no more, and those times would change forever. Okay, and then keep going until the end there. So, unless the... Unless, unless that dream took over and the, the last remaining fish before the moles could find their visions. Good, good. So, um, just like uh, with uh, uh, with Anastasia, okay. Um, once I pointed that out, your th sounds were fabulous, absolutely fabulous. So, what what you need to do? Um, re remind yourself, okay. I'm like, okay, I'm about to read in English. My th sounds. Uh, so you want to focus on on one thing. Okay, focus on one thing and be like, okay, my TH sounds, all right? I've been, I've been working on my TH sounds, and you can underline them, okay? You can spot check them. You can slow down a little bit to, to then be able to pronounce them, okay? But, okay. yeah, make sure that you're pronouncing the, the, the TH sounds at the beginning of words, the. It's very, very common, okay? Yeah. Listen to yourself and make sure that you're not saying za. Okay. An excellent exercise to do would be uh, on most phones nowadays, you have some sort of recording device. Okay. okay. I okay. use it all the time to record songs and ideas and whatnot that I have. I just 
turn it on and I, and I record myself. Now you can grab a paragraph of any magazine or even off the internet okay and record yourself reading okay? okay and 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 notice when you when you pronounce that Z sound instead of the th okay whether it be voiced or unvoiced okay and work on that and fine tune that because I know you can pronounce it well okay you just have to focus on it and then once you're you're focusing on it and you practice that then the muscle and memory uh, start to kick in all right then you won't have to worry about it anymore and then you can move on to something else okay Okay. Awesome, but good job. You're doing really well. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's see who else we got. We have uh, Oswaldo. Oswaldo, let me have you read uh, the next couple paragraphs. And Oswaldo, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Ah, ah. You, you, you uh, were wearing a hat, weren't you? Right. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. You took you took your uh, your camera off. That's why I was like, oh. Yeah, I remember. All right, so uh, let me have you read these uh, These next, sorry, let me have you read from RE down to where it says forward. Go ahead and read that, please. Um, RE looked down to the other fish waiting for his father by the cliff. Only a few had shaken themselves awake, but he saw Adi looking over the edge to the ocean, turning her back to it, breathing her arms wide and leaning back, leaning backwards over the edge as he was about to drive. A stone hit him in the shoulder, a young mole stood there, grinning. Times had changed as the divine undertaking progressed and the dream took over larger numbers of fish over the edge. The balance of the power had shifted, and the respect for the fish was lost. Now they served only a purpose, and that purpose would not last. His father reached out and patted him on the shoulder. Let it be. Expression to him, let it be. He reached the cliff quietly and slided over to Adi, having the rising winds behind her and the crash of the waves under of feet below. She didn't she did not hear him place a hand behind her back before pushing her forward. Okay. Good job. Good job. Now <clears throat> Uh, two things I want I want to practice or I want you to practice. All right, but first off, your R sounds are sounding great. You have really good D sounds, okay, as well, like divine, okay, dreamed, changed, okay, things like that. Your D sounds are sounding really good, as well as your TH. Okay, now I do want to uh, remind you, okay, and this didn't happen every time. Uh, I started notating it. And then I was like, wait a minute, he pronounced, pronounced that one good. And then you had had another one, okay? Um, so what I'm referring to is what's called the short I sound. So, for example, when we have words like it, his, him, okay, did, all right? Um, uh, sometimes people have a tendency to say eat, deed, and, pr and pronounce more of an E sound, a long E sound instead of the short I. Okay. Now, um, you didn't do it all the time. It was probably only about 30% of the time um, when you were doing that. But make a note of that. And just remember, uh, my rule is always, um, always, uh, always lean towards that short I sound. Okay. So if you're unsure if it's going to be a long I or a short I, go short. I. About 90% of the time you're going to be right. Sometimes, yeah, you'll have a short I or a long I sound and then uh, I would rather be corrected towards the long I than, uh, um, than, uh, than say, hey, you know what, that's really a short I sound. So remember, that short I is like in the word grinning. Okay, you pronounce that beautifully. Okay, the word is gri and that I is an I sound. So we say it, hi, his, did, okay, fi, fish. Now fish, um, one time you said fish, the next time you said fish. I was like, I wrote it down and then you said it right and I was like, oh, you said it right. <laughs> so yeah, you're, you're doing good. Just just make note of it, okay? All right? Now, I do want to practice the uh, the ED endings, okay? Okay. 
um, ed ending. So I'm I'm here on this last uh, sentence plus paragraph. Okay. So here, when it ends with a ch sound, okay. Here you said reach it. Okay. Ch will have a t sounding ed. So this word is reached. Try that. Reached. Reached. Good. Okay. Now let's practice this double T sound into the ED. So the double T in most cases will be a D sound. So we're going to say padded. 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 Good. One more time. Padded. Padded. Good. All right. Now, this word here, even though there is a D here towards the end, the end is actually an O sound. Okay. So instead of saying ed, saddle it, Okay, we are going to say sad, saddled with a D ending. Saddled. Try that. Saddled. Okay, one more time. Sad or sorry, sorry. It's instead of saddled. Sorry, I pronounced that wrong. It's with an I there. It's sidled. Sidled. Okay, sidled. Good, good. All right, yeah, my apologies. Uh, I did say saddled. It's not saddled. It has an I. I was reading it incorrectly because saddled would be a, a more common word than sidled would be. Okay. okay. Other other than that, good job. Okay. Keep uh, uh, keep practicing. You're doing very well. All right. My last reader for the night. Oh, did she take off? She probably didn't think I was going to get to her. Yeah, she left. Yeah, I'm being. You were next, I swear. All right. Uh, let's <laughs> see. And uh, we have uh, uh, Ollie. Let me have you read. Uh, have you been following along, Ollie? Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing quite well. Have you been following along? Huh. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let's see. Put in the chat. Yeah, I'll put it in the chat box for you, okay? So we're going to do, I'm going to have you read uh, one small paragraph, okay? Ali, here in the uh, in the chat box, I would like for you to read, uh, read this right here for me. I put it right over here in this chat box. Can you read that, please? Oh, no, she left. All right. Okay. All right. Well, we, we're uh, under a minute uh, left right now anyway. Okay, you guys. I hope uh, I hope you brought your notebooks and uh, and were able to take notes on uh, on things that I was helping you with, as well as others. Sometimes uh, you may make uh, make a note of something that someone else does. And you're like, oh yeah, I do that. I, I need to work on this. Yes. I need to do that. Okay. So uh, mm -hmm. keep working hard. You guys are doing very very well okay uh, thank you for coming to my uh, my reading class uh, next up um, I'm not sure if I have my uh, let's see what I got it's about like yourself talking about yourself <laughs> something like that oh yeah yeah so I have I have my speaking class next so I have I have a whole bunch of different uh, different questions we're gonna go go through talking about change in our lives things uh, things we have changed things we are changing now and things w that we want to change later uh, so if that is interesting to you come on over uh, if not that's okay and uh, I'll see you around next time um, you can go to my profile here with Verbling uh, follow me here as well on Facebook I'd love to hear from you okay all right you guys we'll see you in a couple mm -hmm. minutes see you. See you.